Hello, my little munchkins, cones, and sunflowers. How are you on this Monday night? Yep, we had a wonderful time outside yes, today watching the uh, eclipse. It was wonderful. We were in our backyard. I mean, I know we have a great view of the sun. It looks like it's just beaming down and the moon. And um, it was just wonderful. We put a video out. We know it's all choppy. We're no professionals, but we did the best we could to give you what it was like. You know, it was so nice. We could have had a watch party. Yes, it was have. really, 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 really nice. Now, with that being said, I have my other little dog because the, his her mate died. Yes. Say hello. And she just recently got groomed during the solar Say, eclipse. Hello. She was at the at the beauty salon. Yes. Say hello, everyone. <laughs> Say hello. Say hi, Sky. Hi. You're famous. <laughs> You're famous. Mm. I love See, her so we love much. Our pets over here. We love them so much. So anyway, I don't know what she's going to do. She wants to bury something inside of me. She's a barrier. She, she's a barrier. She likes to use her head to bunt, but I got it because I know it's a little chilly by this window. So anyway, anyway, the word of the week is baby cone. Tell them. Yes, the word. Uh, wow. Uh huh. I have it written down on a piece of paper that is not in here. But the word of the week is awareness. That's what it wants. To, okay. The reason why I chose to make the word of awareness this week, interestingly enough, it coincides with the solar eclipse that we just had. And it's all in the fact that it's in the sign of Aries. And that's all about being conscious and self-aware and present in your reality. And I'm going to add to that this week. What I want you to do is be aware of your health. Be aware of what you're eating. Be aware of your intake and your output. Be aware of those things. Be aware of how much salt you eat, how much sugar you eat. Be aware. That is what I'm starting to do. I'm starting to be aware of what I eat. And I don't eat. I'm not going to say I'm a big eater. No. No. But I still want to be aware of what I eat. And with that saying that is the word be aware this week make it your conscious all these things are going to help you to be centered in you yes be aware this week this is awareness week for your health and for your surroundings and who you are be aware of your friends yes be aware of what people want from you just stop and take notice yes how do you feel in how do they make you feel yes how do your environment make you feel? How does this person make you feel? When they come in or when they leave, how do you feel about that? Yeah. Being aware. That's where we are. Because as you know, we're elevating. We're at the very beginning of yes. the new age of Aquarius. And we're right now, we are the big, we're infants. Yeah. We're infants. We, we're still needing the breast milk. And so it's going to take years remember remember an age lasts over two thousand years yeah so you have to understand jesus has been gone over two thousand years an age is gone so there's the new age of aquarius and remember jesus was the age of pisces so we're moving on and the eclipse and all of that is to say that yes and on the tip I don't know how many people will get to see this video, but I have something to say. Okay. I don't know if this is an insult because I don't mean it as an insult. I did a reading on Candace Owens. And as I did a reading on Candace Owens, of course, I'm not going to really say anything negative about her husband because I don't know her husband. Mm -hmm. I don't even know Candace. I, I don't look up people. I don't go and look up their resume. I am a as authentic as I could be. What I say, I say. What I see, I see. So anyway, someone 
I don't remember the reading. They don't stick with me. But anyway, about this reading, I did see that Candace was struggling. Well, I didn't know because it said that Candace was out asking for money on her website. Yes. And even though when that came to me, I was like, why would Candace be mm -hmm. asking for money when Candace have a million dollars? I mean, a million viewers. Yes. Right? So that doesn't make sense to me, but I'm not going to say to my followers, you don't know what you're talking about. So I took it in stride. So then I have another viewer put her name down. Okay. And um, she said that Candace Owens' husband is a rich man, wealthy. So I think she said that he has $2 billion. And of course, when I'm, I'm, you know, I love it when people bring me information, you yes, know? Yes. So I go, when I get finished sending her my message, because I try to text, I try to respond to every message, even if they're derogatory. And it's no even need to be derogatory, really. But yes. nevertheless, I answer them. And, um, and so, but this wasn't a derogatory message. I, I just thought this was informational. This is why I'm bringing it up. So I went to read it and I read that she had, he has $180 million. Mm -hmm. So my question is, was why would Candace Owens be asking for money on her webpage? Exactly. That's a little hypocritical to me. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Your husband is a multimillionaire. Okay. Yes. And you're working like this. You have three kids. Why are you not home? Raising your children, these questions. Okay. Is it me? No, fair enough. That's a good way to look at it. I just have questions. It just seems like a, a, a contradiction in her teachings. Yes, I will. Be like sure. it, it sounds like I'm not saying this as no judgment. I'm just saying it because someone brought it to my attention. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that seems like why you work so hard and traveling. You yes. have three kids. You just had a baby a few months ago. Yes. With that kind of money, why are you, you can have your show. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense to me. No. It and it just doesn't seem like that's the Republican way. Okay. Because the Republicans, I know, they were 100%. If your husband make the money, you stay home and raise your kids. Okay. Am I right? That's what I was under. Okay? Mm -hmm. you, your, your husband make the money, then you stay home. There is no reason for you to work, to stay home and raise your kids. That's what I grew up under. That's what you grew up under. Yeah, that's true. So I am confused in that Republican thinking. I, I, I'm just... It was something in her reading that bothered me yes but i didn't say what it was and it was about her marriage mm -hmm. and i didn't say anything about it because that wasn't what your focus because that wasn't my focus my focus was on candace and if her marriage coming and i think all i said is your husband i think he got in a brawl or whatever or i don't know but it was said something something violent happened he was in trouble for it yada 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 and i was like Calm your temper. Yeah. Because much. I didn't want to do anything to say anything derogatory against Candace Owens. Yeah, especially because she hardly ever talks to her about her husband. It seems. Because she hardly ever. So, you know, but now what that suspicion I had, it just made it. Wow. Mm hmm. Okay, I might have to read on her again. Uh, I out, I walked out feeling after her reading. I walked out feeling that feeling that I was a hypocrite again. Mm -hmm. Because I don't always want to say, but it was not about the money. It I didn't even know about that. My only thing was Candace must be struggling if she's asking for money. Yes. What a are. hypocrite. I don't understand that, mm -hmm. but I know things are not always what they appear to be. Yes, that is for sure. You know, and maybe this is Candace Owens thing.
but that wouldn't make sense to me. Why would you marry a multimillionaire to not be there for your three kids? You have a kid look like every two to three years. No, I think it's beautiful. Yeah, She's bringing babies in the earth. Yeah, that's true. But she's traveling. She's she when she was oh, with the sure. wire, she traveled. She's she's always doing stuff. Yeah. She can't be home. What I mean, I'm sure she can. You know what I mean. Yes. And when you could be home doing your podcast and being there for your kids, I'm not judging. I just didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. So now I have a whole different viewpoint of Candace. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So I just wanted to clear that up. I don't know who hears it. I just wanted to say that, clear those things up. Now we can get into the Housewives of Potomac reunion. Yes. Part two. One more part to go. Now, this episode. Why are we having another part? I don't know. It's just a three part reunion. It was the same thing with Married to Medicine. We also had a three-part reunion. <laughs> I remember when they were two parts. Um, I remember when they were just one. Um, so in this reunion, I think this is going to be the theme of the reunion, is to talk about Mia and her relationship. And then also we talked a little bit about Gazelle as well. Let me say this. I am, I, I'm disappointed in Mia. I know she was a vixen. I knew, but I can't believe that she comes on TV and show this. That's true. I, I, I it's too much. It is. I, I don't like it. I mean, I'm, I like the gossip, but this here is something wicked about all of this. She always plays like she's not the one at fault. She, it's something wicked. It's something unholy about it. And unless her husband going to make a big statement next week to make me see this in another way, it's not that I feel sorry for Gordon. He knew what he married. Fair enough. That's not it. It's just that the way that Mia present things. That is true. Now, you know, I've seen her do something horrible to her friend. Yes. And now this. You are and, right. and you're flaunting this. What are you saying? Regardless, you still marry. You have no discretion. You're open. It's just. Yeah. Who, I'm not calling you a whore. I'm just saying you being whoreish. And it's disgusting to me. I don't want to see that. Like, hide it. I don't want to, I don't want to be judging when I know you are a married woman. Yeah, that's true. I'm participating in adultery. I told you all I believe in the Ten Commandments. And, and I feel like I'm participating in her adultery. Understanding that her husband cannot make love to her. Yes. This is too much for me. And openly gave her the choice to date as long as she respected the rules they said. But she broke the rules. Mm -hmm. And then she tries to always set them in a bad light. Yes. And then she always try to make it like I had the money. But you stayed married for 11 years, Mia. Yes. And you keep telling us it's not about the Something money. ain't right about all this. And we know Mia to lie. Yes. Or miss or exaggerate. exaggerate the truth. Yes. And this is what I really want to know. Because the producers asked Mia. Or was it Andy? Somebody asked Mia, did she always know that she was going to end up with ink? And first Mia was going to say yes, but then she was going to leave. And she was just like, yes, 
uh, we're just going to say yes. I always knew I was going to end up with Ike. I was just like, ew. And you, you knew that and you still got married. So therefore, you really wasn't even committed. or really She married Gordon because she thought Gordon had a lot of money. The only problem I have with all this, you had children by this man. You stayed with him for 11 years. And it's something about this whole story that stinks to the true. high heavens. It really does. I, I, I'm telling you, something stinky about it. Mm-hmm. It's, it don't it don't smell right. Now that's not one of my gifts. My gift is to see and to feel. <laughs> but this sounds thinking to me. It sounds something like, but how you gonna be married to somebody for eleven years? Have what two? How many children she have? Two or three? Let me see if it's two or three. Cause she the other one is a question mark. Yes. And then you're going to tell that man and knowing that that man is going to come up in there and try to, that's the, ah, man. She, she has two with Gordon. Well, it's two. That's it? Yeah. So she had one with Gordon and a question mark with the other man. Mm -hmm. That is a, that's the, I told you, Mia play dangerous. Yes. You want to say for 11 years, 11 you years, guys been in contact. You've 11 never had this conversation. Years I said this could have been his baby. And now 11 years later, he's going to in your house saying, this is my child. I'm coming from my baby. What tacky man would do that? Yes. Why? What? Uh, mm, mm. And me. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-mm. I don't mm. yeah, I, I got no words for that. I have one. What? Trash box. <laughs> okay. That's a nini word. Okay. It's a trash box. Like I'm not, you know, just trashy. Yeah. Just it's trashy the way it's been handled, the way she's flaunting it, just like she don't care. I get that you might be in love. The way you presented it, the way you just, uh, uh. Yeah, mm. and two mm. things I would want to highlight about Mia mm. is one, she loves to paint the narrative that Gordon was abusing her. Now she's saying, I woke up to zero dollars in my bank account. He abuses me by taking my money. And then now she's currently living in a house. I think it was in DC, she said, and that Gordon is currently in South Carolina, but he's going to cur he's going to eventually move across the street from her. So I'm like, are you guys in a condominium? Yeah. So where do you live, Mia? Where you live across the street from a condominium? No. no. You say your husband don't have no money. How can he afford to live in your neighborhood? I see these things. Exactly. I, 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 Question marks written all over it. <laughs> Why? I mean, unless it's in my mind. Why would I want to live in a neighborhood, in my opinion? Exactly. In a home or whatever she's living in. I don't know what she's living in. Why would I want to live across the street from a condominium? If I'm going to be paying money, that's not where I want to live in a place transit like that. That's the case. I'd rather go and live in the inner, inner part of a city. That's true. At a harbor area or something, if I'm going to pay that kind of money. Mm -hmm. it, it just don't sound right. I just, me, I just don't. Mm -mm. Yes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, my note, I'm frowning up. I, I got to stop it. Mm. All right. Now, moving on. Mm. Poor Gazelle. Because here, Gazelle is. Wendy claims, swears up and down that Gazelle said that her mom was evil while her mom was in the hospital. So therefore, Wendy feels justified to not feel any type of way about Gazelle losing her father. Go ahead, babe. <laughs> 
Okay. I, I just, you that. know how I feel. I just can't even give it no more. I, you know what? Okay. This is one of them shows. I, can, I don't even know if I'll be back next year. I don't okay. know because it's just, it's, it's too petty. Yeah, that's true. It, 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 it is too petty not like from it. both sides. It's just petty to me. This is so petty. You have no idea how petty this is. To see grown women. That's true. And I, you can't even put your feelings aside for death. Right. I can't. Karen could. She was there for Gazelle. Karen is a hypocrite. <laughs> okay. That's why she got caught drinking. She been drinking. She, she been drink. drinking. Karen, um, she's yes. a hypocrite. She always try to be like the high one, the moral one, but you drink your sorrows. And things ain't always like it is with her either. That's true. She's she been doing that a long time. Drinking and driving. That's true. So it caught up with her. Yes, apparently she has a couple of DUIs to her name. Mm -hmm. She has been drinking and driving for a while. Mm -hmm. And it caught up with her. Mm -mm -mm. And I don't have a problem with Karen or anything. The problem I have with Karen, she always act like she's the moral police. Like yes. she got it all together. And she yes. be all in there with Wendy, talking negative. Mm -hmm. She's in there with Gazelle, doing the same thing. I can't stand a two-headed snake. I do, okay. I do like her, I do. <laughs> but I don't like that behavior. Gotcha. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I think Wendy don't like it either because you're going to smile in our face and be with us, but then you're going to go over there and smile. That see that, that kind of stuff. I don't like that at all. That and true. Candace, something yes. wrong with her thinking. Her thinking is skewed. Yeah. It's skewed to me. And her husband, hey, he come on and he's like, like, beat him, honey. She's like, the, yeah, I'll see if y'all together in 10 years. <laughs> um, speaking of Candace, Candace um, cried a little for Gazelle. She sympathized for Gazelle and could feel for Gazelle. However, she didn't want to stay on that topic too much. She didn't want her little soft underbelly show. And she's like, okay, can we get on with this, guys? I do feel as though, because I do not hate Candace, but I feel as though that Gazelle is so hurt with Candace at this point that I don't think Candace could do anything to win Gazelle over at this point or Robin. Fair I enough. think she has hurt them. Tremendously, tremendously. And I just think that they are so done with her. And and when the show is like this, I just can't. If, yeah. if it doesn't be no major changes, I can't. I will not be back. Well, I mean, at least we can at least watch one more season because Candace is not supposed to be back. I will watch. But like I said, I got to still with it with the Wendy and I yeah, got to. Mia. Yes. Mia got a storyline. I mean, I don't, I mean, what I'm saying is the ladies' storylines are the ladies amongst themselves. Mia have a storyline. Karen will have a storyline. I hope she's getting help for her drinking because I know she has to go and get some help for the drinking. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel as though Karen have a storyline. Mia have a storyline. Gazelle have a storyline, you know, picking up after her dad. And Robin mm -hmm. have a storyline. They all have storylines. The new girl, I want to hear what it is she has to say yes. because she's going in on somebody. And the only person I can think it is is Wendy, Wendy, oh, yes. Wendy, 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 Wendy. That's when she's going to go, shaka, shaka. Yes, I can't wait for them to speak in their native tongue. I don't know if, if, if she's going to. No, they showed that in the preview of the season. No, Wendy did, but I don't know if yeah. the girl did. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think NECA did. I don't know no, if we'll NECA see. did. But um, wouldn't that have been funny if NECA said, speak English, because I don't understand what you're saying? That would be funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. NECA just don't seem like she's argumentative. No. She always wants to, I mean, that could just be contributed to the fact she's a lawyer, but that she's always be. just like, well, 
why is this? Can we find some way to overcome this? Is there another way to look at the situation? I, for me, what I about NECA, she's going to have to get a little bit more aggressive for me. Fair enough. Because I need somebody who can handle Wendy. Yeah. Gazelle already is a person. She don't do too much confrontation. No. Not at all. However, Robin will. Karen will. But I noticed over the years, if things, Nick, I'm a, uh, uh, Gazelle will say what she has to say, but then that's it. She, she'll just look at you like, like I'm done with it. Yeah. You're not going to get her in that quarrel, quarrel where they bickering back and forth. That I have, I'm not saying she won't do it. That's just not her makeup. Robin, even when everybody is stopped and Andy is saying be quiet or whatever, Robin is still talking. So Robin is not one that's going to shut up. No. She going to stand on what she feel. Yes, she what does. I love about Robin, this is my opinion. I feel as though Robin, to me, is the fairest one out of the group okay. next to NECA. Yes. But NECA knew. Yes, that is I true. I still don't know. I want her here, but I don't know where she going to wind up. Yeah, she's but, a little too peaceful. But, but I love Robin because at least Robin is fair. Yes. Even when it come down to herself. Mm -hmm. Even when it come down to one merch, I'm going to defend my marriage. This is it. And I think they're getting it. Like, I'm not going to talk against my husband. And just, I'm just not going to do it. You're not going to bully me. And I, I like Robin. I think she has a good storyline. However, I think it's unfair that your husband is mandatory to show up when the way That's I true. understand, they don't get paid. Yes. And then Andy tried to pull the husband's That's into that. He tried to muscle them. I don't think that's fair. This is the housewives. If you wanted men, then they should be paid. Mm -hmm. Now, the last topic we have to cover. I have one thing to say. Okay. Having Ray look like he getting real old. Yes, he, Ray does look like he is. He's shriveling down, isn't he? He walking like this. Oh, Ray. I saw yes. Ray in years. Ray has gotten old. He was a fly older man. But now he's just old Ray. Yeah. He shriveled down and everything. Did you see him? Yes. I mean, I don't remember him in his. Oh yeah, yet. you don't remember him, but he's but talking he like this. Does, but it does seem like within like the last year, it yeah. did look like he aged a little too much. I wonder if he's doing okay. I don't know. Karen's storyline is pretty quiet these last two seasons. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with them. I think he loves his wife. They're going to be together. She's not going to leave him. She's not going to leave Ray. No. Yeah, no, right. I just saying this isn't about money. This is Ray. She can do what she want to do as long as she respects. That's a mature marriage. Yes. When you can do what you want to do with them respect. That's all. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all that that's all that Gordon was asking. Yes, that's all. Mia that done went and fooled around and fell in love. That's all. Mm. And using money as a reason. That's what sounds the worst. Yes. You make it all about it was money you married him and he deceived you. But this is where I have a problem. You stayed in it for 20, I mean, for 11, 11 years. years. You even got on the show. It's just, mm, I, yes. I, I don't get it. <laughs> right. Now, the last thing that I wanted to cover is, interestingly enough, Robin, I don't, this topic of conversation was brought up about colorism yet again. You can tell Andy is. Didn't really I tell crying. you that Candace was the colorist? Yes. Who all said that? Yes, Lady Chrome did. I grew up with it in my own home. I know it so well. Go ahead. Yes. I know how a colorist think, a black colorless black with people. Gotcha. I mean, I'm not talking about white. I'm just talking about I, I, got, I got a good handle on that. And I peaked her for what she is. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And then Robin was talking about how she is uncomfortable with having the conversation about colorism. So <clears throat> that really just showed you. And then you heard Naka in the background. Well, how are you guys colorist? How did that come to happen? 
Listen, Neca, I want to know too. Apparently, it all stems from Candace because Candace is the one that Candace has the is of the colorist. It's Candace. Candace was the one that said the derogatory things, kiss the black of my something. It's Candace. <laughs> you know, overall, overall, light skinned people go out their way overall okay. to not offend a dark skinned person. Fair enough, I could see Because you just don't want to hear. Yes. You don't want right to hear you're a colorist way. or racist. And when you're like, wait a minute, we're in the same bag here. For real. We're in the same bag. How you, you know, so getting into it, that no matter what, when you like, they think you are right. They think when you like, you can, you can get around more. You got more opportunities. They mm -hmm. want you. The lighter you are, they they want you. They they, they know you better to a dark skinned person. We go in a job together. They look at you. They look, you and me. Then she look at me. She already got it. And we're like, are you kidding me? Right. We're looking at you and going, oh, I know she got it. She look at she. That's how we're feeling. It is so ridiculous to call. I'm not saying light-skinned people are not colorist, but a light-skinned person that was born in a black house, black, gazelle born black, how black when you get with slavery? Yes, it's true. How black can you get when, when Robin's husband is black with black kids? Mm -hmm. they, it doesn't, it can't fit. Candace is the one that grew up around white people. Yes. Candace is the it. one that married a white man. Mm -hmm. Candace grew up in that. Candace's father is a doctor. Candace grew up in white world. That was Candace's life. And like she said, I thought that all the black people, all white people think like this. No, well, that's the one thing we not going to <laughs> Because you don't. That's an insult to be light and be called a racist yes. or a colorist. Mm -hmm. It's like, you don't know what we go through. It's crazy. Yeah. And then Wendy over here says that Karen isn't allowed to speak on colorism because I think of um, Karen's color. But then here we go having Wendy defend Candace because you know Wendy what did she mean that team. wait a minute hold up I didn't understand what she meant when you said that Karen is not allowed to speak on colorism mm -hmm. I don't understand what you mean what does she mean say it I don't know I I don't understand what Karen I mean Wendy said Wendy could possibly mean by that but she said that Karen just isn't allowed Karen isn't allowed because she Karen is light skin. I think too. it's because it's Karen's light skin. And because Karen's light skin, she doesn't have the right to speak on colorism because she won't be able to identify with darker people's problems. So therefore you're just adding to But the I problem. think that the light skinned people, I don't know. I read it up in somewhere where the light skinned people I what is it, a colorist or what the, I read yeah, it. I can't. Colorism. Colorism, but the light skinned people are not dealing with that. Apparently, it's for the darker skin people. From what I understand, I don't know. See, I I, I didn't even grow up in this. this, this not like this. Yes, I mean, not we like really. This. Do see it? It does typically stem from the the darker. You would think that I have never people, heard you talk anything mm -hmm. about your color. Ever. No, but it seems like the celebrities that we see on the media tend to go through those problems. And I can just see. Don't ever, 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 ever judge by the color of your skin. Ever, ever. I don't, you don't even do that. No. Mm, well, I, I don't know how to deal with the colorism thing. All I know, we all dealt with it. All of us, even white people have dealt with some colorism. Yes. We've all dealt. Native Americans. Yes. 
Africans, Jamaicans, we all. Yes, if as long as there's shades. Of, there's if be there's problems. long as there's shades of light and dark, yeah. we're going to have colorism until we evolve and know that we're just human beings. This is just the color of our skin and our hair match who we are. That's all. Yes. And I honestly just, I honestly do think it stems back from racism. And it hasn't left. It yes. stemmed back way before slavery. I don't, yeah, that's I don't know. That's true. Just talking about how the fact that they try to reinforce that the closer to black you are, the more negative, terrible, and all these bad things you are. Isn't that silly? Yes, that is so silly. I cannot give it any more of my energy. I It made my eyes like this because that's how exhausting it is. Who cares? Yes. Get over it. It's like. Just think about it as if. It's just like dogs. somebody saying I'm a colorist. It, it, it doesn't make sense. I'm like gazelle. It doesn't. Makes sense, does it? No, it doesn't make sense. Especially when you just realize that we're literally all human beings when you just get down to our skeletal system. And the best way I could see it is- We bleed red. Yes. We eat the same food. Mm -hmm. Prepare it differently, yes. differently, but we eat the same. Mm -hmm. Fruit, meat, vegetables, yeah. we eat the same. Yeah. Just, I, I don't understand. Yeah, we're just like animals. We have different variations of our species. But we all walk on two legs, yes. hands, with, if you don't have an, any informities. But we all, one, we think, we reason. Yes. It's just crazy. Can't we all just get along? Yes. Honestly. Can't and get over this can't. color thing, Candace. Please. 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 You're beautiful beautiful woman you don't need that you got a white man be happy yes well with that being said sunflowers, sunflowers.